listen, when you're writing a wholesale contract, any purchase contract for real estate, earnest money deposit is not a separate part of the purchase price. It is part of the cash to seller. So if you're selling for $100,000 and you have $500 earnest money, your total is not $100,500. Your earnest money is five hundred dollars toward the purchase price of $100,000. I don't know who needs to hear this. Maybe you, maybe somebody you know, but quit doing that. Earnest money is part of the purchase price. It's part of the cash to seller. It's part of whatever. In fact, if you're doing a sub two deal with absolutely zero cash to seller, but you have a thousand dollars earnest money deposit, guess what? That money's coming back to you at close of escrow. It's just security for your performance of the contract. It's earnest money. It's in earnest. Hey, I'm promising I'm going to go through with this deal. So here's a thousand dollars as good faith money toward my performance of this contract. I'm going to put it in escrow. And if I fall through, you can have it. That even if they're getting zero cash at close of escrow, you can do earnest money, and that does not change the purchase price. That money just goes right back to you or covers your part of your side of closing costs. That's it. Pass this along to somebody who needs to know.